Threat modeling is great at finding design flaws and can help fix many security issues in the design itself. Their threat modeling can be done at any time of software development, allowing some time to threat model an application during the initial phases such as requirements or design would help us build a secure design foundations on top of which the software is coded. According to Adam Shostak, threat modeling is basically answering the four following questions. What are we building? What can go wrong? What are you going to do about it? And did you do an acceptable job in the about steps? We can break these four questions as four simple steps. First, pick a use case of your application, then draw a diagram of this use case which shows how data flows through your system, which applications or databases are involved. Then for each asset passing through your data flow, go through a checklist and discuss potential security risks. Assets can be web servers, databases, caching systems, API servers, service bus, or any third-party system. Once you've identified risk, Try and order the risk in terms of importance. Example, how likely is an attack supposed to happen? And what would be the impact of an attack if such an attack happens? Finally, discuss and decide what you will do about each risk. Now, you might have noticed that we started talking about risks instead of threats. Every threat essentially possesses a certain risk. 